Hey everyone, I'm Rushlock and this is Marvel Future Fight, a free-to-play action RPG uh, mobile game. And I wanted to start this free-to-play account to kind of get a perspective on the new player experience and also a uh, free-to-play perspective for when people are starting out and the decisions and choices you have to make. I also wanted to go over the uh, kind of basic tips and tricks for interactions you want to do pretty much every day on your login that you don't want to overlook. Um, so with a new account, it looks like they give away some of the biometrics uh, for three days. I'm guessing that's going to be three interactions. Uh, these exclusive characters, you can only get the bios this way. So if one of them is really standing out to you, like like in the very first situation where they gave you the, the one-star character to pick from, um, pick somebody that you aesthetically like, or if you want to make a meta decision, go for someone powerful. Uh, I would recommend Sharon Rogers on the first choice, and now this one as well. So I'm probably going to use mine on her there. And it tells you can go back there at later, later points. Um, challenges is something you want to look at every day. These are all um, objectives that you want to complete every day. They give you free energy and account XP, which will unlock things for you as well. Level our accounts up. Um, going into trivia, this is a relatively new feature at the time of this video uh, that I just started recently doing on my main account. You'll go through here and you answer five trivia questions. Um, what is the name of the challenge that gives you uh, rewards by solving special challenges daily? Um, I hope it's challenges, because I have no idea otherwise. Yep, that works. You get account XP and energy from that as well. There'll be five questions every day. Uh, free character available. You always want to go into there. Just follow the prompts. There are no shortage of little pop-ups here trying to get you to buy something. You can just ignore them. Um, there are plenty of things in this game that are worth buying, and there are plenty of things that uh, are bits. A bit heavy priced, so... Try to do your research and do the due diligence and you'll you'll be fine. Um, so we talked about challenges and daily trivia. Uh, always check your quests, see if you have you know things you've, you've completed unlocked as well. Uh, these crystals here are the, uh, the premium currency, so keep up with those. Uh, checking your mail for daily login rewards as well. Acquire these boxes. Looks like we got a free character for interacting with that. Acquire all, we'll just go ahead and snap up all these really quick. Some won't um, be grabbed all at once. Like, this is the six star selector. When we took Sharon Rogers at the very beginning of the game, you may have selected a different character, and that's fine, but you can apply the six star to one of them. Um, here we get to pick a character out as well. Uh, the notifications are usually for like events that are going on. They want you to read the notification and then acquire the, re the reward for it. These tickets are, are useful for later on, so we'll go ahead and grab these. Um, Again, these are gonna be the same things as the character selectors, so you're gonna make a decision based on either a meta decision, which means you're looking for things that are more powerful, um, or specifically powerful in that game's current environment. Um, so I can't just give you one character name because two weeks, two months, two years later, it might be a completely different answer. Um, or you can go for the aesthetic choice. Like, I myself am a huge X-Men fan, so I buy all the X-Men content. Uh, if they're strong and powerful, great. If not, I'm just collecting the X-Men content either way and doing the content that I can. Um, the status board is a great tool as well. So you can go into the status board and it'll tell you the objectives or the activities you haven't done this day and you want to focus on those as well. And more will unlock as, as we go through. Um, we'll go into greater detail on those when this account progresses and has ac access to more. Um, but that's really it for the, the initial interactions. Um, something about your energy, as with mo most mobile games, uh, if we go to our energy tab here, once per day you can uh, recharge to full energy for free. Um, you can spend 500 of these uh, social points here to get 25 energy out of it three times per day. You get that by having uh, more people on your friends list in-game. Um, you send them out, you re receive them in return, and you, you redeem them and then come spend them here. Um, I really wouldn't use the premium crystals for the, the energy. Not much value on that. Uh, over here, there'll always be like events and dimension rifts. And right now, the hero's uh, journey, this is kind of like the be, uh, beginner uh, tutorial. So you'll follow the prompts. This is all pretty scripted and very linear very easy to follow along with, but uh, I basically wanted to show people the, the base interactions, which is checking your mail, checking your social interactions. Um, I do have some room on my friends list, I think for about 13 more people at the time of this video. Uh, if you want to add Rushlock or the name in the upper left-hand corner here, Rushlock Free-to-Play, that would be even better as I'll have way more room from that and I'll know that people came from the video as well. Um, so check your mail, check your social stuff, check your challenges, and check your status board. Those are some of the, the more important things to do, and that'll get you started for the early game. Um, in general, forge resources. There's nothing you need to spend on super heavy at first. 
Uh, looking at our team, we can manage uh, the Hellcat we just got for free. They gave us two or three stars, which is pretty powerful. Uh, we have Captain America, the Sharon Rogers we had, we talked about before, Iron Man, Black Widow, and uh, America Chavez. I can't remember the name. Yeah, that's correct. But you can mix and match teams. Uh, different characters will synergize and have different bonuses. You can always look at the team bonus menu. Let's go look at that and explore that a little bit. Um, characters upgrade, you'll see these numbers. And the, the tutorial explains this to you. But Captain America is nine biometrics away from hitting a uh, four star. So if I wanted more Captain America stuff specifically, uh, we can go into Captain America. We can look at the, uh, the menu here. It'll tell us this is the, the mission that we have available at the moment to go do. We can run this mission for more biometrics and, uh, and rank him up to four stars when we get all of those. And that works the same way for any character. Uh, that's the basic premise for character advancements. Uh, I'll probably go through in all the different game systems in much greater detail later in future videos. But this one was just to get people started and understand that uh, there are certain uh, game menus you need to go through on a daily basis. Again, we'll go, we'll go one more time for those that need to hear it. The social aspect, make sure you're adding friends and adding people to your friends list. It'll advance your resource acquisition for energy on a free daily basis. Uh, checking your mail every day, make sure to redeem as many of those as possible. Checking the challenge board for activities and the status board. Uh, those are things you want to knock out every single day as much as possible. Um, again, we get energy and accounts XP for that. Uh, it'll tell you where to go, what to do. Uh, this one, story missions, uh, clear stage 1-8. Uh, a lot of these we can go to and, and do this way. Uh, in fact, I need to add a friend to this account to make this one happen. Um, but if you complete all of your daily missions, you get to acquire 25 of the premium currency per day. Um, which is, which is a pretty significant boost. And then if you complete all of them throughout the week, you get 30 more at the end of the week. Uh, there's also other in-game things that will obviously accrue them like these. Uh, you'll probably get a lot of them early on as a new account, but uh, just keep acquiring these and you'll you'll be fine. Um, my main account, my one that I have premium to actually buy things on, I spend about $3 a month and I have everything in the game that I've ever wanted for the last couple of years. Um, at the time of this video, some more X-Men content just came out with Colossus and Magic, who are premium characters, so I bought the $8 pack that gives me login biometrics, uh, like this system here. I get to select characters with it. Uh, I'm using that to level up uh, Colossus and Magic, but other than that, uh, 3 bucks a month has given me everything I could ever, ever ask for. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to look at this free-to-play account and see how uh, much premium currency we can acquire, and... Uh, Keep in mind, the more you play the game, the more time you spend in it, the more you should consider or more, feel more comfortable spending. Um, the the three dollar pack, I should I should go into greater detail here. We go into the store, and I think it's under. I think it's here. Here we go. The uh, Tony Stark stash, uh, three dollars and fifty cents gives you twenty four uh, fifty of the gems spread out over a thirty day period. Um, to me, it's a great value. Uh, I also misquoted the other pack. It's a, apparently. $9 a pop. Uh, I didn't get the X-Gene one specifically. It's maybe I misquoted that value as well, but you can always check the prices here. They may change over time. There's a VIP system so that the more you spend, uh, you get more account perks. Um, for example, level one, uh, the free chest, that free hero you get every day. Uh, something else you want to look at. Let's see if I can go back here. Uh, where we went to the store and went through all this already. Uh, let's go back and recharge again. But that Tony Stark stash to me is, is, is a huge value. So if you're, if you're playing the game enough, enough on a monthly basis to justify $3.50, this is the first purchase I would make personally. Um, after that, if there's a certain character you want to unlock and focus on, you can go for the biometric, biometric system. Uh, that will help as well. But uh, those are the basics. As always, if you have questions, you can always feel free to post them down below the video. Uh, there will also be a link to the Discord server uh, for our mobile games channel. Uh, if you type there your question and put at Rushlock, it will tag me and I'll answer it as soon as I can. But those are two ways you can reach me, also on Twitter at Rushlock. Um, ask questions if you have them. And uh, enjoy the game, have fun, and ask your questions, and we'll help as much as we can.